The Minnesota Wild have completed their second trade of the day. Acquiring a defenseman makes sense why now they traded Kale Addison. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, like anything NHL, MLB related, make sure you hit that subscribe button as we got all the coverage here on the channel for you. And we're trying to reach our goal of 500 subscribers. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Now let's get to it. Earlier today, the Minnesota Wild traded, traded Kale Addison to the San Jose Sharks. I got a couple Minnesota Wild fans as friends, and I talked to them. And they weren't too sure why, maybe because Spurgeon was coming back. But now it all makes sense with this recent trade that the Wild did as they have acquired defenseman Zach Bogosian from the Tampa Bay Lightning in exchange for a 7th round draft pick and I believe it was 2025. Now this makes sense. Bogosian and Kale Addison, two different complete players. Kale Addison, known for his offensive ability, who could be a top 4 defenseman. Zach Bogosian throughout his career has been a second, third pairing defenseman. Hard hitting, hard to play against. Can do a lot on the penalty kill. And this is probably why the Minnesota Wild decided to, hey, let's go after Zach Bogosian. He's only played four games for Tampa Bay. He can play that third pairing, give us the minutes, give us the penalty kill, and set our defensive game more than Kale Addison could. Now, Bogosian, of course, he's an NHL vet of almost 13 years as he came into the league in 08 09. So, actually, it's been 14 years where he made his debut with the Atlanta Thrashers back then. Now, the Winnipeg Jets. He played for that team from 08 09 season to the 2014 15 season where he was traded to the Buffalo Sabres and then spent the last four seasons with the Tampa Bay Lightning. So, he's. A well-known vet who's only played for three teams, but every team liked his style. The hard, gritty type of style that Bogosian brings in. Hopefully Minnesota gets that type of player from him too. That could go kill penalty kills. It's an upgrade on their defense. Their penalty killing. Sorry, I came down with a cold the last few days. And like I said, Bogosian's not known for his offensive Paralysis as he has 57 career goals and 156 career assists for 213 points in 787 games. He is he has 715 penalty minutes and over his career he is a plus minus of an even zero in four games this year with the Tampa Bay Lightning. He has no goals, no assists, no penalty minutes, plus minus of zero. So. That is how he goes. He is a pretty good player in the playoffs too. Minnesota got a pretty good defenseman out of the deal. Yes, maybe giving up Kale Addison wasn't the best idea, but they wanted to get more defensive, especially with Spurgeon and the offensive defensemen they have right now. Brock Fader is another one. Fader, sorry. Not Fader. So this is a good trade by them. But that is it for me today. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'll catch you on the next one.